Some of you have been very deprived of snow and we're starting to get some better trends now. This is your Snowplow News video and we have a wild jet stream that's causing for a parade of storms. But look at this, Tuesday afternoon showing off the snow a little bit further off towards the south, Wisconsin, Michigan into northwest Ohio. And then this system spread off towards the east during the evening hours, rain showers on the southern side. But yes, Windy City showing off some actual snowfall after what a snow drought it was. Accumulations were not too much in the downtown area, but a couple of slushy inches for sure once you got into the suburbs away from that urban heat island effect. We're going to see a decent amount of rain during the day today across the southeast in towards portions of the mid-Atlantic. Some severe weather with these storms as well. Snow pushing off towards the east here. The big story is not only what has been over the last couple of weeks, what will be the next few days, what will be the next week, is a lot of systems across the west bringing very heavy snow to those higher elevations. Another system with severe weather chances across the southeast, snow showers pushing up generally off towards the northeast into the upper Midwest, and just a couple of rain showers into the northeast from that system. So it gets more active and we'll have to talk about a weekend holiday system as well. Look at this temperature gradient. How about negative 20 degrees or colder? How about like 70, 80 or so degrees down south? That is quite the big deal. And what does it cause in the upper atmosphere? Well, it causes a very active jet stream to separate those air masses. And you notice the jet just launching its way into the country and very strong across much of the US. And notice how that jet stream kind of sprawls out a little bit across the Pacific Ocean. How right here, you start to see it kind of back away and push a little bit in. That helps to attract kind of those uh, systems from Asia and moves them on in and then pushes them through and we'll get just very active, very strong jet stream here. You notice some troughs and then some ridges across the east. So it's not just a neutral flow from west to east, not super progressive, but we're not holding in as much widespread warmth once we get into January further east. There will be some decent cool downs and there's certainly cold air available further west. So rain shower activity continuing with even a couple severe weather chances further off towards the south. That's not rare for this time of year. This system is going to really grow nicely. And look, snow further south. This is once we get into your Saturday, snow into maybe Iowa, Illinois again, Detroit, We'll watch the I-90 corridor. We can't rule out snow for portions of the I-70 corridor, especially west of Ohio. That'll move up into Ontario, Quebec, maybe into the interior northeast. Lots of heavy rain up into the Tennessee Valley, the Mid-Atlantic, and then pushing off towards the east there. It's going to be a very wet pattern, a double, triple the amount of rainfall that you maybe normally see in a month just in a week or two. Oh, look at that again. As we quiet things out across a good portion of the country, it gets very active. Heavy snow for the Cascades and the Sierra Nevada Mountains again with some into the Rockies. That system eventually, once we go throughout the middle portion of next week, will start moving off towards the east. And by next weekend, not this coming, the following weekend, probably another widespread country to country system. Snowfall in the next week, no big surprise, it's big time. Feet of snow into the higher peaks of your western mountains. And then this is that New Year's weekend system sliding out across portions of the Midwest, Great Lakes, in towards portions of Quebec maybe the northeast. While this isn't going to be impactful snow, we could have some flakes flying into the Tennessee Valley area as well.